nobody safe tonight. Shut up, our guy. Swiss beats. He's so calling out. Really this is our guy. Uh, uh. This is our guy. He's so calling out. Hey. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I'm going to tell you how New York City works. Because nobody's going to circle back to him. You know why nobody in this town's gonna circle back to him? Cause they're scared of him. Cause they wanna ride his knot all day long. So they're scared of him. Nobody wants to hold this guy accountable for where we're at right now. And that's Jay-Z. Cause he said we were past kneeling, right? That's what he said. I just wanna double check if that's what he said. When he wanted to grab that bag and make a money grab from the NFL, he did a press conference, right? With all his goofballs sitting next to him at the press conference. That's what he did, right? And now somebody died in Minnesota where somebody put their knee on somebody's neck. And this guy disappeared. We haven't heard from him. And I'm going to tell you how he's going to do you. He's going to come around in a month. He's going to make a documentary. He's going to throw $10,000 at the family and keep it pushing. Instead, he could have held people accountable. I'm keeping it a 1000 today. He can take some of that money from that clothing line he did with the NFL right after he sold Colin out. You know that clothing line that popped up the minute that he sold Colin out with the NFL that they were selling the jerseys in the arena? He could take some of that money. He could donate it to the family. The Barclays was lit up. Where was he last night? Can't get him on the phone. I'm just keeping it a thousand today. I love him. I love his music and I love him. I'm keeping it a thousand. Jay Z's the biggest, most talented artist of this lifetime. And for all you dumb, stupid radio jocks that let Jay Z rock y'all to sleep and tell y'all to give him a chance. You should feel stupid. Give him a chance. Give Jay-Z a chance. Right, you gave him a chance, right? Hold him accountable, bro. And ladies, hold him accountable. This is a situation where a knee's involved. Remember the one he said that we were past? The one that's so calling out? Listen, I do not like New York City. I'm going to keep it a thousand. I don't, the looting is wrong. I don't like the looting. I understand where people's mindset gets to that and the destruction. And I understand when you get pushed. I do I understand that. But we, I mean, we can't be as so destructive where we live. We cannot be that destructive. The looting's not cool. It really isn't. And hurting one another. And and listen, man, we, if we're going to keep it a thousand, we're going to keep it all the way a thousand. You know, a lot of people in this city, a lot of you youngins, a lot of you people coming up, you know, you, you do like to blame the cops for everything. But I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all today. In a few different ways. You know, you don't want you don't want the cops to hurt you. You don't want people to hurt you. But as African Americans and Latinos and all our brown people, we gotta stop hurting each other. We gotta stop pulling putting bullets in each other. You can't expect other people to respect us if we wanna kill our own. You know, you like to have all the sets and all the gangs that you're part of and all the different colors and the rags you want to wear. 
Y'all really need to stop it and put it in one place and, and use that effort for something else. Not for hurting each other, not for robbing, not for taking. We gotta stop. We gotta take care of us first. And excuse me, I know people like that derogatory word. I hope I'm using the word. You like to use the word nigga amongst each other. And I know that's a bad word. It's not a good word. If you don't want other people to use that word and describe us, you have to stop using that word. We not just gonna check the dirty cops tonight. We gotta check each other too. We gotta check them. Cause while we're checking each other, I'm gonna check Jay-Z tonight. I'm gonna check him tonight. I was waiting for something. I'm gonna check him tonight. Y'all all fell for the banana in the tailpipe. With the Jay-Z and the NFL. Because, you know, I don't like violence. And I don't like I don't like that. I don't like the looting. There's no reason to run through stores, you know, and, and liquor stores and all the things we see on CNN and on Fox. That's not what, that's not right. But let me tell you something. When, when people were kneeling at those games and when Colin was kneeling, everybody was twisted up and everybody lost. The, the cause got lost. Yeah, I understand when people upset. And I understand that, and the flag and everything, man. But it got lost in the cause because you didn't understand. You didn't see what it was really about, which is what was what you saw on TV. A man putting his knee on somebody's neck. And I'm going to tell you something about you dirty cops. Because there's a lot of good cops. But I'm going to tell you something about that dirty cop that put his knee on that guy's, on that guy's neck. You look at that video and you look at his face. And you look at his eyes and you look at his cheekbones and you look at his expression in his arms and his legs. You see it in him. That's called hate. Look at him. Watch that video over and over again and watch his body language. Watch as those people beg him. He presses harder and he looks at their face. Look at that type of guy, man. And I'm going to tell you something. He, there's few of those cops, man. There's not many of them, and I know I know y'all don't believe me, and y'all think there's not a lot of bad cops, man. There really isn't. There's not a lot of dirty cops. What it is is there's a few that make it bad for the good cops, and I'm going to tell you where the good cops go wrong. Like I told you, I got family members. I got friends who are cops. I get it. Let me do what I'm doing tonight. Let me do my thing tonight, okay? Let me do my thing. I'm going to tell you the problem with your good cops. What it is, is you see the guy doing the dirt. You don't have to be a rat. You don't have to snitch. And I know y'all fear internal affairs and y'all got the blue code. I get it. I understand. Y'all lose pensions over nonsense. I get it. But you're supposed to check that dude when nobody's looking. You're supposed to check him so he don't do that in front of you. That's the real problem. That's the real problem. No, it is. It is. No, really. Let's get back to this guy. Let's get back to him. He said we were past kneeling, right? Yeah, he disappeared, right? Uh, uh. Cause I don't see him. Oh, yeah. I didn't see him at the Barclays either. Hey. Cause remember he took that money. From those people at the Barclays, right? It you right. remember he took that bread. Right. Just pointing out the facts. Yeah. We were past kneeling. That's what he said. Jay-Z told us it was going to get better. He asked us to wait. He sold Colin out. He said we were past kneeling. And we need to do something else. I haven't heard from him. You're not gonna hear from him. You're gonna get you're gonna get a cornball press release and a donation, and you're gonna get a document and a documentary. I'm telling you what you're gonna get, New York. Don't be mad at me because I say the truth. I want to get to Jersey City, though. I 
saw that situation on 30 Boswick Ave in Jersey City. Yeah, I did. Jim Shea, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, you should. And that police chief in Jersey City, Mike Kelly, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're a clown, too. And the mayor of Jersey City, Stephen Falat, you're a clown as well. Because you let that Jersey City Police Department run through those streets and beat those people up in those streets. But what made it worse? What made it worse is you let those people get hurt and then you said it, all y'all said it wasn't excessive force. And that's the part that's overlooked. And that's the part that hurts. Jersey City, I saw it. And since we're talking about Jersey, I'm going to give you a phone number right now. For whatever part of Jersey you live, and shout to all the good cops out in Jersey. There's a ton of them. Let me tell you something. Don't get it twisted. 90% of the cops is good out here, bro. I know y'all don't like that percentage. 90%. It's the 10% that stands out. But if you live in New Jersey and you ever have a situation with a police officer, I'm going to give you a phone number. Don't touch him. Your whole team, take your phone out. And I'm going to give you a number. I tried this number myself because P.O. told me to try the number. The number's 1-877-253-4125. If you live in Jersey, that's the number you call when a dirty cop is giving you a problem or pounding on you. Once again, shout to all the good cops out there. We see you. And we see your effort and we see your support. It shines through. Let me get back to where I was at, though. Because this guy disappeared. He told us we were past kneeling. George, I'll tell you the difference between me and them. They trying to get their... <laughs> There's no difference between you and them. Remember what we're doing out here today. We're keeping our mask on. We're keeping that Purell handy. Mask or scarf. We're staying six feet apart. Don't, don't fall for the gaffle. Don't let your guard down and get sick. And be peaceful when you're in the street. They want you to have a problem. They want you to have a situation. I'm going to tell you something. The good cops don't want that. The good cops want you to protest and do your thing. The dirty cops don't. If you know a dirty cop, hit me in my DM right now. Be between me and you. I told you, at Funk Flex on that gram right now. I want you to do that right now. You'll see Officer Vincent J. I don't even know how to spell his last name. DeAndrea, I think that's his name. 73rd Precinct. You will see him on my gram. Pushing a girl to the concrete. Her head hits the concrete. Then she was taken to the hospital. He did it in front of his commander. Craig Edelman. 73rd Precinct. Cornball cops showing out for the white shirt. We see all the good cops out there. We see you. I'm not speaking to y'all. At all. We setting a tone. I'm calling out names tonight. De Blasio already told you you're a clown. We don't respect you in this town. You're always stumbling out with a press release after somebody gets hurt. 
Now, New York City, New York City, listen to me. We got to be fair, too. We have to be very, very fair, and we got to be very honest. So listen, police officer Francisco Garcia, that's the officer from Brooklyn. And you know, he got a lot of negative attention for a second. Officer Francisco Garcia from Brooklyn. He was on that video, and it was a partial video, right? Because we always got to say when wrong is wrong and when right's right. And when the full video came out on Officer Francisco Garcia from Brooklyn, you could see that he was being attacked first. And we got to mention that. And, and, you know, no one wants to circle back when a cop did the right thing. But sometimes we have to do that. We can't always be one-eyed, one looking through one lens. All right? Officer Francisco Garcia, we see you, my brother. And I know a lot of people didn't reach back. I'm reaching back. I know a lot of people didn't reach back to say you did the right thing in Brooklyn, but you did. Because when the full video came out on Facebook, it showed that he was attacked first. And he was responding to what the guy did. You only saw a piece of the video, New York. I'm just keeping it a thousand, man. And we got to keep it a thousand for the cops that do the right thing. Let me get back to this guy. Chill, choke, chill. <laughs> this guy said we were past kneeling. I don't want you to forget. But I want, listen, let me tell you something, New York. Jay-Z has fed a lot of people. He is a hero in our music game. He's a general and he's a legend. And he's a genius. I don't want to take anything away from this brother tonight. He's a genius. He's a legend. And he's our legend. And he's from Brooklyn. And he's from New York. And we're hard on him, yes. And I am, yes. Because he's smart. And he understands. All we needed this guy was to not sell Colin out. Because once you say we're past kneeling, that means you're saying we're past Colin Kaepernick. That's what you're saying. And if you're gonna if you're gonna say we're past kneeling and all those other things, then we want to see you now, because this was an opportune time for him to come forward and say we're not past kneeling. Checking the NFL that what Collins said was right and touching down on this situation. He might do that. I say he's not. Because I think the paper's more important to him and he already sold us down the river. That's my opinion. Do I love him? Yes. He's the greatest of all time to me. And he will always be that. He's never going to, no one's going to replace that. Drake is too soft. I'm sorry, that's a whole other subject. I don't want to get off track. Nah, I don't. That was a cheap shot. It was cheap. It was, a, it was bad. I apologize. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. So, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm being this way. You want to know why New York? Because when that deal went down and everything happened with Colin and what was going on, everybody wanted me to shut up. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Leave it alone. But if you're going to sell the black people down the river, bro, you're supposed to stand up now. You su Now, no one's saying he's wrong, but we he needs to stand up. Stand up. He needs to stand up. Because you said we was past kneeling with Colin. That's what you said. And we're going to hold you to it. And no one's going to hold you to it. You want to know why? Sometimes people want to be in awe of people, and that's cool, and I don't think there's anything wrong. But it should never sway what you think and what you believe. And what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, I hope people remember that it, when it was just Colin kneeling and it was subtle, nobody was okay with it. Now the looting and everything is going on and the destruction and now you now it's like oh my god oh my god we get it it should stop Y'all could have stopped this a long time ago Yeah Yeah
long time ago. Amy Cooper, Central Park Karen, I'm going to get to you tonight, too. I'm not ready to go home yet. Maria, I'm being careful, Maria. I am. No, I am, really. I'm being careful. I really am. I really am. I really am. Pat Robinson was cracking. Victor, I see you. P.O., I see you. T.T. Torres, I see you. Ron, I see you. We got a new GM. Shout out to my man, Ron. And he's from New York. No, really. We are here, New York. P.O., I'm taking it easy. I'm not going over the top. I'm keeping everybody, you know, not, uh, not too erratic. So this next song I'm going to play. I played it last hour and I got to play it now. You know I do. DJ, DJ Enough, I see you. DJ Camillo, I see you. I'm going to get back to some more Jay-Z records. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, um, I, I know it. Listen, New York, I know it sounds weird when I comment my opinion on people. And I know it sounds weird to you. But, you know, um, I think people comment on me, and I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't hold a grudge. I'm okay with it. And I never want to, like, I am commenting about this with Colin Kaepernick and with Jay-Z and with the NFL. You know, I don't want it to overshadow, you know. Look, the NFL gives a lot of opportunity to a lot of people, a lot of youngins and a lot of people make a, a living off of that. Not, you know, nothing wrong with that. We get it, you know. And I'll tell you again, you know, Jay-Z's my favorite rapper, my favorite lyricist, my favorite MC. And I am inspired by him. And I want to make sure that my words are right today. You know, I am inspired by him. Um, I love the fact that he's created Rock Nation and given so many rappers uh, lessons and opportunity. And he's from Brooklyn and he's from New York. And you know something, New York? We are, we are grateful. What's a good word? We are, um, we are lucky enough. I'm, I'm going to be honest, you know, that the greatest MC and look, Biggie's great. And I would, we've got to be honest with ourselves today. Jay-Z's greater. It's just what is what it is. And we are grateful that the greatest rapper from all time is from our city, which is New York. And I am. And I roast, I roast, I roast him a little bit. That doesn't mean I don't think he's great. Uh, you'll nev I'll never tell you, I'll never say he's whack. He's not, he's far from whack. Ever. And I think he makes amazing decisions in New York. I just, you know... Um, sometimes when you see a journey and, you know, we, we see Colin up here too, and we see Nessa and we see their journey and it's unfortunate that it took for this situation to kind of happen, to really put a light on, um, the kneeling thing is actually, we're actually not past it. And that's all we was asking Jay-Z to see is that we're not past it and don't sell, you know, Puff and everybody says don't sell the uh, African-American Latino vote short, right? And we can't. And I'll be honest, man, I do feel like Jay-Z sold us short because he was in that building because of his um his influence on the African Americans and the Latinos, just everybody. He's he's an influential person. And he tried to convince us and his team that he, it wasn't a money grab, that it wasn't about the money. But it was about the money. And it's okay if it's about the money. We with you, man. Grab every bag you can. But he, he kind of sold Colin out. Because once you said we passed kneeling, 
you let all those people know that we're past it. And um, that's not clean. And, and then maybe, you know, maybe if I didn't, you know, I mean, I just thought it wasn't cool. That's me. And then I, it bothered me that people didn't comment on it, that people thought they shoved it under the rug. But I'm going to be honest, man. All you people that shoved it under the rug and didn't uh, and didn't address it and didn't keep the issue going and keep it going, it's kind of why we're here today. Keep it a thousand with you. Now, I know this whole presidency thing is jammed up. Joe Biden's an idiot that's going through dementia or whatever he's going through. And you know what, man? You know, when I see something and I see something good, I'm always going to acknowledge it. And I did like the way Charlemagne tripped up Joe Biden. I enjoyed it. I liked seeing it. It was something that we all needed to see what that guy was about, you know? We don't take credit away from, from things that, from people who do the right thing. And I did like seeing it because I, it made you see what of an idiot Joe Biden is. Like, he's an idiot, like a real idiot. Like, he really doesn't get it. I mean, he's in a dream world. He's stumbling. That boy is four weeks away from a heart attack. And dumb Donald is an idiot, too. There's no candidate here for me anywhere. Donald's dumb. And Joe Biden's sleepy. I'm keeping it a thousand. That's just my opinion. That's what I feel. I don't feel they're going to do anything for us. You know, I don't. But, you know, we're going to work with it the best way we can. But in that meantime, you know, what we got to, in the meantime, I'm going to come back with that tune. So I don't, you know, I know I'm jumping around. I might have AA, whatever, A, D, 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 whatever. Maybe I'm jumping around a lot. But, you know, it's nothing personal with Jay-Z. We love him, man. We're just trying to, like, that situation now as we see it in 2020, it, it was exactly what we thought it was. A money grab. Sold us out. You can always double back, my brother, and do the right thing. Jay-Z, you can always double back and do the right thing. You can always double back. That's all. That's my opinion. That's all. And um, I'm going to come back with this NWA, this F the police. I'm going to come back with that. You know I am. Please don't get upset, man. We're just rocking. Rock with me. I know you got, you know you police officers got me on the call. You know you like me. Don't act like you don't like me. You like me. I play good music. I'm from New York. You like me. Oh, you don't like me tonight? <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it.